guess it's the uh, zinc hour here. So um, we're also we're, in, we're called Osisco Metals. We are a base metal focused company, part of the Osisco Group. So if you're fairly familiar with the Osisco Group, they were the flying explorers who found uh, Canadian Malartic, put it into production. Uh, still is the largest gold mine in Canada. So it was quite a successful story. Um, following the acquisition of Osisco One, Osisco Mining One. There was a royalties company that was spun out. Following that, there was a number of other accelerator models, a number of other companies that uh, were formed and were part of that group. We are solely focused on base metal. We are um, exploring in two of Canada's premier past producing zinc camps. So that would be the Batters camp. And our star asset is over at Pine Point. We've drilled over 100,000 meters across both camps. So one of the largest exploration programs on the base metal side in the world. And uh, what we're targeting at Pine Point is something that's really unique in the, uh, in the zinc space. What you're typically seeing when you see a lot of zinc projects are underground mines. Uh, a colleague here who was talking about Tinka, that was again an underground mine. 90% of production on the zinc side is from underground. What we have at Pine Point is something that no other uh, development or exploration company in the world has out there open pit zinc. Um, that's something that is extremely unique and it's uh, a value proposition that I'm sure you're going to have a, you're, you're going to understand quite quickly once we show it to you. Uh, we also have $29 million in the treasury, so we do have a fair amount of capital to keep exploring and the plan is to continue exploring. So I'm going to jump ahead here. Let me see. Does this clicker work? There we go. So Pine Point is a past producer, was owned by Cominco, produced from the mid 60s to the mid 80s. Um, so in terms of can it be mined, the answer is yes, it was mined successfully. When it was in production, it was the most profitable zinc mine in Canada. Um, so it is quite an interesting asset. Being a past producer, we also have a fair amount of infrastructure already deployed on site. So we actually have power directly on site. We have uh, a paved highway that runs along the southern edge of our property. But most importantly, if you have a base metal uh, project, what you need is access to international markets. And that means you need rail. We actually have a railhead about 40 kilometers outside of our property boundaries, giving us access to full international markets. We can send out in our future concentrate or any future concentrate out to Vancouver or Thunder Bay to access European markets. So, it's actually a unique project by having all of the infrastructure already in place. We also have a number of uh, properties in Quebec that are more Gen X, and then our secondary project is out in Bathurst, but I don't think we'll have time for that one. Um, the board is led by Robert Wares, who was one of the main, uh, along with John Brzezinski, one of the main founders of Osisco One. Luc Lessard built Canadian Malartic on time and on budget, so we have a very strong board of previous explorers, mine developers, and mine builders. So we're quite happy with uh, the team that we've uh, brought to bear on this project, and it's gonna be moving pretty quickly uh, here. Um, 29 million cash, uh, we have a number of analyst coverage, strong shareholder roster as well to support our, continue, our continued plans in the camp. I'm just gonna jump right ahead to Pine Point. So again, Pine Point, unique asset because it is open pit zinc, it is a past producer, fantastic metallurgy, and great infrastructure. Um, when we look at the drilling we've been doing, um, it's been shallow drilling, and that really speaks to that open pit nature again. So high grade intercepts in that east mill zone, closer, no deeper than 65 meters, central zone no deeper than 100 meters. So really, we are talking about very much uh, near surface mineralization. If we're targeting around um, a resource that will be coming out in Q4 2018, that resource is gonna grade between five and a half and six and a half percent. It's roughly what the historical resource that uh, Cominco had left on the books. If we were to convert that to a copper equivalency, it'd be 2% copper. So it really is um, a unique opportunity. It is a high grade open pit operation. And when we started comparing it to other operations globally, well, we realized that if Pine Point was in production, it would be higher grade than 90% of all copper, gold, or zinc open pit operations in the world. 
So it really sits in a unique space um, relative to its peers. What Pine Point is, is an MVT deposit. MVT deposits, you sort of saw it on, uh, from the, the Tinka slide where you're looking at essentially a horizon that can, contains the mineralization. Cominco, when they had this, they were mining the first 50 to 70 meters. They left some resource there that were in the process of converting and putting out a resource estimate imminently. But what they, weren't, what they didn't do was drill at depth. And that, there's a lot of exploration upside here. These deposits are blind. They are almost exclusively sphalerite, which contains your zinc, galena, which contains your lead, in a limestone, in a dolomitic limestone. What that means is that you cannot use IP, you cannot use magnetics to find deposits. When Kaminka was exploring here, they were essentially doing blind wildcat drilling repeatedly in the hopes of finding something new. So they focused on the top 70 meters. However, the formation that can host mineralization is two to 300 meters tick. They never drilled past that first 100 meters. So what we can deploy is airborne gravity. Gravity looks for density differences. So between the limestone and your sulfide minerals, there's a density contrast. Never been flown across the entire camp. We hope to fly that in Q1 of next year. It's gonna be a brand new eyes to look across this camp. We expect to see multiple new targets because what is important here is the scale of it. This property is over 65 kilometers long. Um, you can see that central zone in that east mill zone, which I was showing you back on uh, this slide. So when we, when we zoom out, you can see that it is only a small portion of our property. Where you see that electrical symbol is where the substation uh, currently is. Power is directly on our site. That red road is a paved highway that actually intersects our property. So while we are in the Northwest Territories, we have hydroelectrical power, paved roads, and rail access. All of the Northwest Territories are supplied from that rail. Fuel, cargo, all come up from Hay River to Hay River and then go to Yellowknife and all the diamond mines. So what we really have here is all of the infrastructure necessary to advance this project. I'll go back one slide here on the concentrate. This is something that was really important as well. When we were looking for projects, what we found at Pine Point was one of the cleanest concentrates known. We benchmarked it across against maybe 150 concentrates. What we quickly realized is that it, there's maybe two or three concentrates globally that compare in qualities. Kaminko, back in the 80s, mind you, was recovering about 95% of the zinc, producing a 58% uh, zinc concentrate. That is an extremely high grade zinc concentrate. The maximum you'll go is around 60%. So what we really have is a premium product with no deleterious elements and that's another important factor here when you're talking about and looking at base metal projects, so not just zinc but copper as well, you need to be careful on the deleterious elements. Here you're looking at low iron, low silica, no manganese, no mercury, no arsenic, there's really no nasties to be penalized on. So you have on one hand a premium product because of a high grade, but you have a premium product because of the purity that would come out of Pine Point. So we're quite excited to get going here. And these are actually, if you one last thing here, if you walk away is, you know what? Look at all those lines there. Those are actually 25 meter haul roads that are still there. This is a picture of them right here. So really what we have at Point Point going forward is that we expect to put out a resource estimate imminently in the next few weeks, just like Tinka, um, that's gonna outline a high grade open pit resource near surface that is unique in the world. We are gonna be starting an airborne gravity survey early um, next year. We're gonna be continuing to drill because if there's one thing that the OSISO companies do is drill baby drill. And at the same time, we're gonna be also advancing some of our other, oper uh, other projects in other camps, such as uh, Bathurst Camp, which I didn't have time to go into. But we are going to be aggressively moving this forward. And I think people are gonna be surprised just how quickly we're gonna be able to advance this project. It's not going to be around for you know, five to 10 years. It's going to move fast. So thank you for your time.